Oh, I wanted this song to play, y'all. Started out with just one dream. Hey, the resources got not be this song out right here. Remember when you stayed up late at night trying to work out your indie. Remember your passion. Remember, remember your drive. Remember, remember how you felt inside. Remember when you felt you could conquer the world. That mountain was too high. But now the storm has passed your What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Shining where you at, y'all? Hey. Tell me what you're gonna do. Listen to me. The enemy's assignment is to keep you down. Wanna keep me down. Disappointments from all around. What greater is see that's inside of you? You help you to stand your ground. Push a little harder. Boom a little further. Pray a little deeper. Hang it to the keeper. Till you reach the finish line, don't you stop. Till the devil bring all he got. Bring all he got. to share with you what by playing that song was you're ready you are ready to walk out your destiny you are ready to be all that god has created you to be i don't care what may what things may look like around you know that greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in this world i don't care what chaos is going on the virus this and that if you know who lives inside of you if you know who is king king the kings above you around you who lives in you then you can be and go and do anything that the lord has created you to be do not be moved by circumstances okay the, the word of God says the enemy walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He walks around like, he walks around like, okay? The enemy walks around, he, he's, he's one of those uh, fakesters. He, he think he a lion, okay? But he's not the king of kings and the lord of lords. He can't have your life. He can't have your destiny. What God has started in you, he is going to bring to completion inside of you. Believe in the Lord, okay? If you don't, I encourage you to. I encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and watch him direct your path. You're looking at a woman, hey, who's been through a lot in life. But I, the Lord has allowed me to continue to get up, to keep moving, to keep pressing, to keep persevering, okay? Do you know that the word of God says that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope and hope does not disappoint us because our hope is in who? Our hope is in God. That's coming from, I believe, Romans chapter 5. It's so important. Now, hey, hey, go, go to Romans and read it. Read about the sufferings. Read about the persecution. Read about the things that you will experience all for the glory of God. 
I came up here today. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Got a little makeup on. I did a little photo shoot today, y'all. Planning out for some things, some things, some things in the making. And um, I wanted to encourage you all. I wanted this to be another um, small chat with Kawana, myself, Kawana Creates, and um, I wanted to speak on the creative side, um, EIC, that is Elevate, Elevate, Inspire, and Create, that's what I do. I elevate you to that next level so that you are inspired to create your own world. Today, I did some creating. I wasn't really trying to, for real, for real, and I got so used to not wearing makeup that when I put it on, <sighs> um, I was like, oh my gosh. This is how you look with makeup on. But, you know, God has given all of us a measure of faith, all of us a, a certain amount of gifts, and he wants us to use those gifts for his glory. What gifts do you have inside of you that you haven't been using lately? What gifts are inside of you that you've been using, but you haven't been using to the capacity that you could use them for that could bless other people? Hey, this is one of my many gifts that the Lord has given me to be able to create um, on a woman's face, you know, to be able to uh, show that masterpiece by um, giving her some glam glam to the eyes or putting a little lash on, you know, fixing up those eyebrows, you know, getting the getting the woman ready for that major event. Hey, something that the Lord has blessed me with. But what is it, ladies? Hey, are do some of you have a gift of uh, makeup? Have you been putting it to a side? Have it some, uh, do you desire to uh, beautify women for uh, special events, for special occasions, um, weddings? Uh, I don't know. They could be getting ready to go on stage. They could be getting ready to perform. They can be getting ready to um, go on live on TV. If you have a gift, the Lord wants you to use it. Go, go get the proper um, class. Take the proper classes and 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 you know sharpen your skill that the Lord has given you so that you can be the best at what you're called to be. I don't know. You could be a a woman or a man who desires to have their barber license. Okay, um, don't go working in nobody's salon and not have a license. I need you to work at getting your license. Hey, get but you go go get signed up on our apprenticeship and go to school part time and and get that degree. You know, get that certificate as a barber or as a cosmetologist. Uh, you could be, um, let me see. You can have a creative gift of speaking into people's lives. Hey, why don't you go ahead and take some speak speech classes and some uh go to um the to uh mass what is it toasters. Toaster Master, I believe, or uh, Toastmasters. That's that's like a speaking group where you can, you know, work on your speaking engagements. You know, um, do live videos to practice. Uh, hey, get your certificate. Um, you know, for for speaking, or um, if you want to become a life coach, they have plenty. Uh, certificates out here that you can go and study, and it can be, I don't know, um, six months course that you could take you know it could be a three-week course so that you can have certain certifications to perfect the creative gifts that are inside of you you're you're an author you desire you want to you want to um perfect your writing skills uh you're a poet and you love poetry and you want to get out here and you want to begin to release that poetry into people's lives hey there's so many places there's so many things and things that you can get involved in to perfect the gifts that are inside of you. Um, you could want to be become a doctor. Hey, well, you might need to start from the ground up. And that that is looking up some information about it, finding out what schools that you need to get involved in, um, signing up for school, going to school. You know what I'm saying? You have to start it, whether it's in medicine or you want to be a nurse or whatever the case may be, you know, with certain degree, certain things you want to do, you have to have certain degrees. Get involved, go after it, do your research. You want to be a photographer. Hey, yes, you have an eye for taking pictures. Well, there are certificates out here that you can get. You can go to TCC and, and get a two-year a certificate or a, there's so many things that you can get involved in you can go to um what is it uh what's the name of that school art um the art institute they have that's more of an art school where they for for photography for uh culinary um 
design, graphics. There's so many things that so many people love doing and they just, they do it on the side. Why not take it to another step and and perfect that gift and get some background training in it so that you can be the best that God has called you to be in that area. You know what I'm saying? So when people go looking and searching online for someone for services, you you can be able to have your information placed up there and you have the backing because you've done the study. You've done the hard work for it, you know? Um, I just wanted to share that with you all today, the importance of perfecting your craft. And um, if you haven't used it in a while, like me, I haven't, I haven't done anyone's face up. Uh, applied any makeup to anyone in a long time and today after doing it it was like wow god i thank you for the gift that you've given me i i don't toot my horn i give it all the glory to the lord um it's not something that i want to do every day i used to do this literally every day back in the day in my 20s y'all i felt like i had to have a face full of makeup because I didn't think I was beautiful without it but the devil is a liar I'm so glad that God showed me who I was he showed me that my beauty didn't wasn't from the outside my beauty started from within and that's another whole story that we can talk about even now for the inspiration side for the elevating side I want to encourage you all that your beauty comes from within do not be moved by people and, and what the world say you should be that makes you, that says that you're, you, in order for you to be beautiful, that you have to be a size five or size three, you know, no, 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 that is not true. Yes, you want to be healthy. Yes, you want to take care of your temple because the Lord tells us to be a steward over our temple. But it's so, so, so important that you love yourself, that you love the woman or the man that's within. It's not about wearing that right suit and wearing this and doing that and looking this way that's going to make you get the girls or 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 find your wife or find your husband yes okay you want to be appealing okay you don't want to go around looking like no rag doll i'm not saying that but what i am saying is when you know who you are and whose you are you'll realize that it starts within you know what i'm saying it has nothing to do with what people say about you is what you believe about you is having that confidence that god confidence you know being bold brave and confident and i encourage you all today that you walk out who you are that you lift your head up that you never put your head down thinking that you're less than someone else because you don't have this or you don't have that know that god loves you he's pleased with you and if you feel like you need to grow in some area hey then then do that i'm, I'm sure he will be even pleased to know that you want to work on certain areas in your life iron sharpens iron you know it's so important that we sharpen ourselves and, and do certain things to build ourselves up you know um but love yourself Love who you are. Love the skin you're in. You don't have to dye your hair. You don't have to add extensions. You don't have to... Um, and that's for even for the men because there's a lot of men they're getting toupees and things done on their head now because they feel like, you know, they're going bald or this or that or whatever the case may be. Hey, we are all going to get old one day. We are all going to get old one of these days. Your true identification comes from within. Beauty within. Do you know that you are royalty? Did you Do you know that you are a royal priesthood? A chosen generation brought out of darkness into the marvelous light? Do you know? That your daddy loves you just the way you are? He 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 accept you, accepted you and bought you when you were in darkness. He he didn't wait for you to change. He 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 did it all for you, for me, for us. I need y'all to be who you created to be. 
I need you to be ready for what it is that God got down the, the pipeline for you. That song that I was just playing, that's one of my songs. I love it. And I played it because it, it, it encourages me to be ready, you know, no matter what, what's went on, no matter whatever. Don't you stop. Don't you stop. Don't you ever give up. You, you know, that those were the words that was in the song. Don't you stop. Don't you stop. Proceed to the top. You know what I'm saying? You have what it takes to be who it is that you're created to be, to be able to bless a nation. Walk it out. Don't stop. You're ready. Be encouraged. Hey, you know, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching it on Instagram, go to uh, YouTube and, and subscribe as well. Um, most of all, be encouraged. Be ready. Because God loves you. And he is ready for you to do some work here on this earth for his glory. You got a job to do. I have a job to do. We have jobs to do. Let's do it. Let's get to it. God bless you.